G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today, uh, doing something a little bit different. I'm here at the AMCO, which is uh, where I work at the TAFE sector in, here in Heidelberg at Melbourne Polytechnic. And I've got another little job from the fabricators next door. Uh, this is some more steam pipe or pressure pipe that they need to do for their weld testing and weld practicing and testing, of course. So today we're gonna jump onto the old Haas ST20 over here, which has a Y axis. This is just basic turning just some facing and chamfering cycle. But as a matter of interest, I've just made this, which is a plastic uh, 3D printed lathe uh, chuck spider. So instead of hearing from me today, I'm gonna to put a student in front of the camera and her name's Jana, and she's gonna take you through the process of the setup uh, from turning on the machine, homing it, and uh, setting the work offset and running these parts. So I think you might find it interesting, something a little bit different as well. Good on you. I'll see you at the end of the video. My name's Jana and I'm a second year apprentice at Melbourne Polytechnic. Today's job is um, working on these pipes, doing a bevel on either end of the pipes. The reason for these bevels is for the welding procedure. For this job we will be using a lathe chuck spider so that we can butt it up and machine each one to the exact same size, roughly. Um, Aaron 3D printed this. To do this, we will be opening the chuck. I'm going to put this on the chuck now. Now I'm going to set up tool one to set up the work offset. Start spindle, MDI, forward. Going to jog slowly in until I touch the face of the part. I'll go into my work offset. Oh, Z. To set the G54. Z face measure. Stop and home. Select program. Now run the program for memory. Memory. Now we're ready to run the part. So I can start.
so what did you think guys i hope you enjoyed that just a little video i know it wasn't much uh nothing too fancy nothing too hard but it's just a simple project and uh imagine doing these parts one off okay on a manual lathe uh, it'd take you quite a while in total there was 160 of these parts so we're glad that we could assist our um fabrication brothers and sisters next door to uh, get the job done for them i'll see you in the next video thanks again for uh, tuning in and watching bye for now